but too rough for the cuts. And so I um, <clears throat> couldn't think of a name. I'm like, ah, it's perfect. Wrong radio show, right? Think about it. I mean, I've sailed around the world. I've been on the seven seas. And people there, they tell me, lo people love the name. People love the name. It's true. It is a good name. Um, it is a very, very good name. Okay, so uh, listen, uh, we're going to come back here with R.L. Carlson. And I uh, hope you enjoy the interview this morning on this special Thursday. Uh, uh, now we're going to go to uh, commercial break. So what's it like working on the wrong radio show? Well, Tom, I'll tell you. <clears throat> uh, low budget. <laughs> if you're talking about somebody counting their nickels and dimes, this is the place to come. But uh, it is something something fun and, uh, you know, something to do. And um, so what else is it like while, uh, you know, on the scene? Oh, <laughs> As you know, I about drank myself to death on this one, and I had to spend like a week in AA just to uh, get right again. Oh, but I'm over that now, so uh, here's what goes on daily My <laughs> when I talk about low budget. I mean, my dressing room is actually a port up a john, <laughs> okay? And I have these three chicks that come around me all the time, and I'm pretty sure he pays them, <clears throat> but they're not, you know, they're nothing to take home, you know, nothing you want to bring home to mom and dad, <laughs> but they just follow me around, tell me how handsome I, I am, you know, keep my self-esteem up, is what they do, but uh, I wouldn't touch them, not with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> okay, we're back with R.L. Carlson, creator and producer, actor, musician, um, cameraman, right, roadie, uh, what else, what else are you on the show? <laughs> what else am I? I'm fucking everything. I'm the fucking shrink, I'm the this, I'm the that, I'm the friend, I'm the enemy. You know, people tell me I'm difficult to work with. Here's the thing. Problem is, I'm just a really, 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 really exceptionally nice guy. So when things don't go their way because they're too fucking lazy, they fucking put the blame on me. And that's okay, I understand human nature because when I started this show, see, the show essentially is about human nature. But, um, like, for instance, one time I asked an actor... To, uh, to listen to the show and proof listen to it and tell me if his qualifications of standard are fine because I also give the actors and musicians a chance to uh, fix any materials okay up next we're going to come back after a song or two and we're going to come back in a little more of the interviews here with R.L. Carlson creator of the wrong radio show here on WRLC
found Ate the fruits of righteous It's holy in the house In the garden The vine grows fast Makes the shade For it is vast The sun peers through Like knives or needles The star is young And still is fetal do drop taste like sugar the juice falls it's full of nectar it hits the ground and make no sound evaporated in the sunlight on the ground the summer swells it's full of fire turning round burning shire diving the shade, the vine, it marches like a parade. Save yourself from wealth of the sun, cause the burning it has only begun. No doubt that the drought is here. Off her cheek, just dried a tear. The clouds, they died yesterday. Tell us about the beginning of Wrong Radio. How did it start for you? Oh, well, see, uh, oh, Rock Guy and myself, we had a little falling out. It lasted like 11, like 10 years. Anyway, thanks to Facebook and all of its glorious magic and puppies and babies and shit, uh, we were able to uh, work together again. Um, so, I am a, wasn't originally a musician and uh turned actor but i was a truck driver so in the beginning he got a hold of me and i came up to jingle about the buzz ball because i was it was winter time and i was in montana uh, and i remember the buzz ball scene uh, but anyway you know it went on and went on and and uh our ideas or his idea um yeah, it went over pretty well but so far I pissed off the whole state of Oklahoma. I had to apologize to Johnny Truckington, which he knows nothing about that. And uh, and so uh, he actually killed the inventor of truck driving with a piece of bubble gum. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a uh, that was a uh, good stuff there. And uh, let's see, there's a couple other a couple other good ones in there. And there are a bunch of good ones. Mixed with comedy and music. Uh, that's what we do. That's what we've been doing since uh, middle school band. Yeah, can you believe that? 
Oh, man. Uh, and we're going to get back to the music part here soon. But now I'm an acquired actor, and I plan on moving to Hollywood uh, within the next uh, few months. So you can find me out there. Okay, we're back uh, with, w with uh, R.L. Carlson. Um, we don't have much more time on this show. Anything you want to add, Ryan? Yeah. Um, rumors have it that uh, the people on my show do complain, and they're probably correct. But here's the thing. Uh, when they sign up, they know they're going to be their own cameraman. But they walk all over town and all over this earth blaming me as the cameraman. Uh, you know, if, if you're going to act, you're going to have to be a cameraman. If you're going to be a cameraman, you're going to have to act. If you're going to have to act and be a cameraman, you're going to have to be a co-producer and quite possibly improv your own material. And if you don't like it, there's the back door right there. You can get the fuck out. Because Wrong Radio Show, we don't need such bullcrap, man. And that's all I got to say. Yeah, all right, that was great. Hey, thanks for coming, Ryan. Hey, anytime, anytime. Well, when I have the time. Always too busy making the shows. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed today's interview here on WRLC. Up next, more music.
here's the thing, Bob. Um, uh, RLC, you know, Ryan Lee, he thinks that if you're acting, then you should also be operating your own camera. And that is definitely not, you know, I'm a musician, tried and true, okay, but then I tried the acting out and it worked out beautiful and I could go anywhere, you know, I could be on any show, um, with <laughs> my looks and quality, uh, acting, uh, I don't need to touch a camera. I mean, come on, they're filthy. You don't know what the camera guys do, scratching their balls, wiping sweat. I, I, <laughs> you know, and if he doesn't like that, well, tell him to turn around. Right there's the back door. Don't let it hit him where the good Lord split him. Okay, well, that's all I have to say about that. And uh, it's been a good interview, and I'm looking forward to further working with uh, RLC on any other further projects that may arise. So good day and good night when it comes, everybody. Take care of yourselves.